my name is Chris Jackson. I'm the Special Audiences Strategist here at Monroe County Public Library. My name is Dana Thompson and I work at the Alzheimer's Resource Service at IU Health. The mission of the ARS is to support people living with dementia and their care partners within our 11 communities. We provide support education and resource connections for families, but we also focus on making our communities more dementia friendly. And here at the library, uh, our mission uh, promotes equitable access to all library resources, and our values include inclusivity, accessibility, and lifelong learning. For the past few years, the Alzheimer's Resource Service and the Community Dementia Alliance have spearheaded an effort to provide dementia-friendly training for businesses and organizations within our community. So last year at our dementia-friendly conference, um, Chris and the Monroe County Public Library volunteered to help us with a pilot program for a Level 2 certification. The Level 2 certification consists of a short questionnaire about accessibility and usability within the organization and a walkthrough by a person living with dementia and or their care partner. So one of the things we learned from the walkthrough was that this building is really confusing, especially to, to people living with dementia, but really to everyone. We have two different entrances that are on different floors of the building, so depending on where you come in, it's, uh, it's hard to know where to go to get to a meeting room or a certain collection. As a result, we developed this wayfinding kiosk, as well as a library map as a handout, and we've tried to color code the different services we offer and make it really easy through the uh, legend here to find out, for example, where the meeting rooms are or where the Indiana room is. For people who are here all the time, that's probably uh, not so difficult, but for newcomers or people with, uh, with cognitive difficulties, there are some real challenges that we hadn't considered. And that was one of the things that Lois mentioned in our walkthrough, was having good wayfinding tools. And she did mention that the things that were at eye level seemed to be the most helpful. Um, because of the vision changes that can happen for people living with dementia, often things that are posted higher up are difficult to see. Um, so something at this level would be easily visual and much more helpful. Um, so I'm here now with my friend Lois Souter, and she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's about 12 years or so ago. Lois and her husband were kind enough to volunteer to do a walkthrough for us as we piloted this Level 2 project. It's been a while ago yeah. now that mm -hmm. we did that, but since that time the library has made a number of changes based on the recommendations that you and John made. Have you seen any of the changes that they have made? Oh yes. Yeah. It's very noticeable. Signage is better. You walk in and there's different desks that go to in areas that where instead of one big desk, you may mm -hmm. if you have to wait, you may forget why you went there. <laughs> so. How have some of those changes been helpful to you personally? It's more friendly. You don't feel as bad as going up and asking and it's just easier to take your time maneuver around because everything's marked so well. Yeah, one of the things that we talked about a lot was signage mm -hmm. and particularly you pointed out that signage on the restrooms could be difficult because it was on the adjacent wall yeah. and sometimes you mm -hmm. didn't see where you were going. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's one of the things that has been remedied in addition to marking a family and caregiver restroom back here for people that might need that support mm -hmm. as well. So another one of the changes that we affected uh, as a result of the walkthrough was signage on our restrooms. Previously we had a sign over here, but for, uh, for Lois and her experience, approaching the restroom, being right here, this was out of her peripheral vision. This was what she was seeing and she had moments when she was about to enter and she wasn't sure that she was at the right restroom. Uh, with the corner here, it's a little bit awkward in terms of what the appropriate ADA standard is, but this makes it clear as you're entering that this is an accessible restroom and that it is the women's restroom. Yeah, again, we're talking about very simple changes, very simple signage that's right at eye level and easy for people to 
one of the great aspects of the partnership is that we get to try things out. So I meet regularly with my, with my friends and colleagues from IU Health. And the library was actually the, uh, the pilot program, the first place to institute this level two dementia friendly uh, uh, accessibility. The library is all about community engaging, uh, engaging with uh, the, the patrons who come here to use our collections and visit our programs, but also engaging with the other support and service organizations in the county. IU Health is obviously one of the, one of the most important in terms of the number of people that they're in touch with and the opportunity to partnership has benefited us in so many ways. We do a monthly series of programs called Caregiver University that have come out of that partnership. We also uh, have done some music programs that are of a special interest to people living with dementia and that never would have occurred to me were it not for the insights from my colleague Dana here. The ARS is always focused on trying to make the lives of people living with dementia better and improve their quality of life. But we couldn't do that without our community partners and we are so grateful to the library for allowing us to work with them and develop these opportunities in our community so that others can jump on board and help support people living with dementia in our community as well.